Wow! Whoa. Do you believe that? The April and Scott magic? Hot stuff. Well, that was not even... You could smell it. I'll tell you. You could burning. smell it. Something burning? Something's burning. <laughs> <sighs> that sweet smell. Now, if I'm not mistaken... Sweet smell. Anyway, if I'm not mistaken, I think Scott, uh, he's still burning so much that he wants to make another appearance. What do you think? I think we should let him do it. Okay, do you want to call him up, Scott? Or do you want to call Scott up? Let's give it up for Scott Church then. Scott Woo! Church! Woo! He's burning up, baby! He's burning doing? up, all right. Burn it up, baby. Thank you. How are we doing? Um, I'm, my name is Scott Churchson. Uh, I am a 39-year-old Irish ginger from New Jersey. Uh, I am bald and I'm overweight and I'm single. Can't figure out why. Aww. Yeah, um, I'm coming from the state of New Jersey, which obviously people in Manhattan are watching this know is as the sewage state, or as I prefer to call it, basically the city, uh, the state that does actually not suck as much as people think it does. Um, a little bit about me. I am New Jersey, woo! woo! Right. Yes. We don't You're suck like people think we do. Woo! Um, I'm a full-time actor, which means I'm broke and, you know, live with my mom. But a um, little bit about me, the benefit to it is actually I can work from home and um, I can wear, work in my underwear and pick my nose whenever I feel like it and not have to worry about a boss. So there's benefits there. <laughs> um, part of the whole thing in this case is the fact that actually because I am ginger, you know, I got the whole pasty white skin or I prefer to call it ginger American. Uh, I've got the whole Irish thing going for me, shall we say, you know. The Irish people are best known for two things. Basically, green and getting drunk, which is part of the reason I'm here in the first place. You know, getting the alcohol, the broken prophylactic, and the uh, the, the busted van you know, the uh, Volkswagen Beetle in the back seat. Uh, a little bit about me there. Um, it is not actually do not feel really that great to actually go on dates when you're sitting there as an Irish person, um, because they you know they look at the the accent, they look at you and think you know he's just a nice friend. You know, he's never going to work out into dating material. You know, it's funny because there are certain voices out there, you know, that actually work for the sensuality kind of a thing. You know, the Irish accent doesn't work too well. The Hindu accent does not work very well either. It's like, hey, baby, how are you? Do you come here often? Would you like to? Yeah, you know. You know. I've also heard British thing. I suppose we can do that sort of thing too, very upscale sort of thing. But I think, in my opinion, the absolute best accent possible out there is that Latin accent. You know, late, you know I'm getting, you know, a couple of ladies in the audience are like, yep. Because you look at that Latin accent, you think, you think about it, it's like, Hello. My name is Eduardo and I'm going to make a love to you. <laughs> I want you to get on the bed and take off your panties. Do as I tell you. <laughs> now I want you to pretend that your legs hate each other. That is a good one. You know, and that works. You know, for me, you know, having the New Jersey Irish accent that I have does not work that well. Mm -hmm. What I do have though, is I do have one little trick that actually works or not, I don't know. They're going to yeah. leave my information at the bottom of this during the uh, the airing of this. So, uh, hey, if you're, you know, you want to reach out, you want to talk to me? Hey, how you doing? So, um, take a break.